As senior class president of 1996, I'd like to call this meeting to order Wednesday, April 3rd, 1996, exactly 4.20 p.m. It's located in the Logan Annex Auditorium. The first item on our agenda is the reading of the minutes, which will not take place this afternoon. So we will move on to the second item, which is the treasurer's report. The treasurer of our senior class is Ms. Melissa Coleman. Hi, I'm Melissa Coleman, graduating senior, treasurer of the senior class. Um, in our, we have two accounts, which will be our dues account and our yearbook account. In our yearbook account, that's basically funds that will go towards the yearbook, and it consists of the cap and gown. Well, it consists of uh, fundraising, cap and gown, and fundraiser, and money donated from uh, the faculty and staff. In that account, we have. $3,644.26. And in our dues account, which consists of money from um, the, the seniors' um, dues, we have $1,365. And we wrote a check out for the, the dinner dance, which consists of $100. And I'm just stressing to seniors that we do need your money um, as soon as possible for the dues, and the dues deadline is April 15th. Is that <laughs> okay, the next thing on the agenda, are there any questions from Melissa regarding the financial report? No, okay, we'll move on to the third item on the agenda, which is the president's report. Um, one thing, as Melissa stressed, is the dues payments. We really need to start receiving dues from all the seniors. Um, it's very imperative. It, it helps us to balance how much money we will have going towards the dinner dance and all the activities that we have um, prepared for senior week. Um, so the deadline for the dues is April 15th, so please try to get your dues in as soon as possible, either to the treasurer at her room, Tubman Hall 206, or in student activities. Um, <clears throat> another thing I like to discuss is the graduation. As everyone knows, we're in the process of finding a speaker for graduation. We submitted names back in September and they have yet to find a speaker, but <clears throat> Ms. Shields, our advisor, updated us that they have selected, they haven't really selected, but they've discussed Al Gore, which is the Vice President of the United States. They um, The White House contacted Cheney, um, acknowledging us as the first historically black university and asked could he speak, so that's in the process of being decided on who the speaker would be. Um, Ms. Wendy Bryant, a fellow senior who's also on the commencement committee has submitted names who she felt people who are strong speakers. She submitted those names as well. So hopefully, you know, we'll have a speaker soon. Um, as far as the baccalaureate, which is scheduled the evening before graduation, we don't have a speaker as of yet either. But we are in the process of getting a speaker and preparing the agenda for the baccalaureate. Hi, senior class. It's Monica Bowie. Miss Senior Class, how are you? I would just like to say that I've enjoyed my time here at Cheney University, become a member of several clubs, student activities, Senior Class Vice President, Miss Senior Class, who's who, and all types of other work functions and <laughs> things of that nature. Uh, I'm going to miss my time here at Cheney, missing all my, fun, my friends and pumpkin. Good luck to everyone. Keep focused. If you survive, Cheney, you can survive anything in life. <laughs> and this is coming from the clothing textile, textile department, fashion merchandising. Good luck. My students in fashion merchandising, fashion design, Valrika, um, Debbie Stringfield, and Phyllis. 
Thomas. Good luck in the future. We will dearly miss you. I have enjoyed you. And best wishes on your future. Yay! This is Art Jackson, communication major. Came into Cheney in 1991. Just like to say some shout outs to some of my friends that you know will be graduating with me this year. Lasell Peters, congratulations. Kay, congratulations. Yay. Kieta. My frat brothers, which you know, I recently joined Iota Phi Theta while attending Cheney in 1993, which I, you know, am proud of. Also, like to thank the faculty, the admissions department, public relations, and the staff. You know, I learned a lot here at Cheney, and it was a tough four years for me and for everyone else. You know, a lot of difficulties and a lot of problems that had um, came to Cheney. So, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to leave out with a batch, 1996, and that's it. Congratulations, everyone. Peace. My name is Phyllis T., graduating senior, class of 1996. We are sitting here in Mr. Mixon's class, preparing a vase so I can pour some slip inside of it. When I am done, I hope to have a beautiful vase. I am Deborah Stringfield, graduating senior, major is fashion design, and I'm sitting here making a rabbit for my lawn. Truly a blessing to be back here at Cheney University. I was here in 19, what year was it? 82, December. But for some unknown reason, I had to leave, and I'm a returning student graduating this May. Can't wait. This is truly an honor. I'm in the Hotel Restaurant Institutional Management Program here at Cheney University, and I think it's a unique program because we get to do lots of interesting things. We travel all the way to Walt Disney World, South Carolina, and we even stay in the Pennsylvania area. We have fun and we meet a lot of people. Hello, 11th grade class. Speech class, um, November 2nd, 1992. My name is Ron Chumain Hispel. I was born November 18th, 1970, you guess. Um, sign of a Scorpio. My favorite color is purple. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey. Most of y'all know about Patterson, New Jersey. It's in the northern part of New Jersey, about approximately seven, 10 minutes from New York City. Patterson, New Jersey is the town where Lena and me, the movie, the Issa House film, which I was in. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the 1130 speech class. My name is Miss Radia M. Fallon, the president and the founder of the Sister to Sister Award. What, you may ask, is the Sister to Sister Award? This award was designed to make our African sisters strive to become their very best. This award was established at Cheney University at the Harriet Tubman Hall on the sixth floor, West Wing. Last year, when I decided to approach the running of Miss Cheney University 1995-96, there was someone who guided me, who inspired me, who helped me to make it through every day and every night. 
every evening after practice, he would stop in and say, how was practice today? What did you do at practice today? You'll make it, it will be okay. Unfortunately, my friend is not able to be here this evening. For you see, God saw it in his will to take him home with him. Who am I to question what the Lord has? But when I got back to my dorm room the night of the pageant last year, I saw a note on my bed that said, congratulations, Shorty. Love you. Good luck, Shorty. To me, he was known as Shorty, but to many of you, he was known as Jay the Barber. But to those of you that knew him, knew he was a friend and inspiration, and he would be by your side regardless of what happened. And at this time, I would like to have a moment of silence in memory of my friend, Jay the Barber, Shorty. Because I know that although he cannot be here with me tonight physically, he is in this room spiritually. Sarah's Jason, I just want you to know that you've always been a true friend to me. It's unfortunate that you're not here with us anymore. I miss you. I just want to know that all the time we spent together was well spent, and I always love you. Hi, Cheney University. My name is Loretta Tillery. I'm a graduating senior with a degree in business administration with a concentration in finance. For me, it's been a long time coming, and I'm glad I've made it. I would like to thank God, my family. Um, I would also like to thank the 22 founders of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, um, my best friend Karen Bird, and all of the friends and Cheney family who have helped me get through this time um, in order to graduate.
Chain University places emphasis on academics first and athletics second. However, the will to excel is emphasized equally for academics and sports. The will to win and to achieve one's potential in every endeavor has always been instilled in Cheney athletes. This has always been evident in their performances, win or lose. Congratulations to my classmates of the Cheney University class of 1996. Now let's take a look at some of the exciting athletic activities in which Cheney athletes have participated. Incidentally, I'm number 74, Aaron K. Thank you.
don't seem to look like, well, no, you look like you're real busy. Hey, no, 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 All right, see you again. Right, okay. See you. That's what's that. <laughs> Is that what that means?
Hello, it's Aaron Kay again. Now let's take a look at some of the happenings that occurred during homecoming and May weekends. We have many exciting extracurricular activities at Cheney University. We work hard, but it's not all academics. We believe if we work hard and study hard, we have the right to play just as hard. During homecoming, a lot of happenings occur for nearly an entire week. During May weekend, a whole lot of activities are concentrated into a single weekend. Let's take a look at some of the happenings that occurred during homecoming and May weekend.
Thank you. 